I, you know, and I was really glad to see. You know, it took a lot of heat. A lot of people to respond to you as if you were a fundamentalist Mormon. And some of your comments on on your website were. I, you had some wonderful understanding comments about people's intolerance. And I, I was just really glad to see that. It seems like as the Golden Plates went on, there there seemed to be less and less radical response to it. Yeah. Well, first, I, I would never, ever describe myself as fundamentalist. Absolutely. Um, in fact, um, most fundamentalists of any ilk I, I find to be very narrow-minded. I, I, I believe God gave us brains in, in order to use them, to think, to question, to test, to push. And um, so one of the things that I love about the church most is uh, the, you're encouraged to read and study the scriptures for yourself, to learn for yourself. And we don't have paid clergy who tell us their interpretations of the scriptures. Um, so when you hear somebody that's locked into uh, their beliefs based, based on um, maybe what their parents taught them or, or maybe they had an experience where they just kind of went in and their exuberance locked them into something. Um, I, I, so I, I have deep respect for any, anyone's faith or lack of faith. Or, or um, I'm, I'm a man of science. I, my, my father was a psychologist and um, a very educated man and uh, yeah, we've, we need to think. But having said that, we need to be kind and respect one another. And so when somebody tells me that somebody's evil because they're homosexual, it's like, whoa, 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 you know, let's stop right there. Why do you think that? Where does that come from? Or political beliefs, whether it's conservatism, uh, you know, liberalism, it, it's like, let's step back. And it's a fact that religion and politics have caused most of the violence in the history of mankind. There's a reason for that. And for me, religion is about love, it's about mutual respect, it's about understanding, it's about caring, it's about giving everyone the same rights that you have. If you're lucky enough, blessed enough to have rights to do whatever you want, why wouldn't you want everyone else on the planet to have those same rights? And to make this group of bad guy or that country, they're evil, that's ridiculous to me. And um, so when somebody starts beating the drum about anything, I, I my first reaction is to step back and go, wait, 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 you're not going to pull me into anything until I can think this through and decide whether it's something I'm going to throw my passion into. Uh, for, for me, um, the Book of Mormon is amazing to me because it's one of two things. It's either the greatest fraud that's ever been achieved because uh, Joseph Smith was a man who didn't, his education I think stopped around the fourth grade. For him to have made up the Book of Mormon would have been the greatest snow job of all time. Maybe he achieved that. I believe, choose to believe that no, this is one of the great miracles in the world. If, if you can get past your perceptions or misperceptions, that there's, if there's a possibility that it's true, that it was translated from ancient records through the gift of power of God, then it proves that Jesus Christ was a resurrected being, it proves that we are all here for a purpose, and it proves most importantly that, that we have parents who came from another world, which if you're a comic book fan, that's pretty exciting right there. Right, it fits. And some people are offended by that, but if you look at the doctrine, we have heavenly parents or parents who came from another world. And the whole goal is to grow and progress, to evolve. I believe in evolution, for instance, and there's this evolution is for us to eventually become like them, which could take eons upon eons. But their development is beyond ours. So looking at a scientific aspect of that and so you can break these things down and, and not just be just some somebody that just falls into spiritual misty angels sitting on clouds playing harps kind of stuff or you can really think it through and logically think it, could this be true and if it's true then the good news is there's a reason we all exist you know and for me that's exciting and it's it's fun to think about and it, it isn't 
for people to get angry about. And if somebody chooses to believe something else, then, you know, the, I welcome them to believe whatever they want to believe. But what I would ask is that, you know, let's, if we discuss these things, which I enjoy doing, let's do it on a very respectful level. Let's just listen to each other. We can disagree, but this anger and, and uh, the politics in the world is ridiculous. The things that are so clearly in need of being done just aren't, it's just not happening. And it's because this side is against that side and they won't even listen to each other. It's like, no, my goal is to make sure you fail. And my goal is to make sure you fail. Because if you succeed, I'm not going to get reelected. Because I'm going to look bad by comparison. Where's the progress in that? So I, for me, I, I so if, if I were to just briefly explain my belief, it's that I believe in eternal progression. That throughout eternity, we're to better ourselves, and through that betterment, we lift each other up and become happier. And there's more joy in our lives, not hatred or anger or or distrust. You know, it's it's about it's about being happy. So that that's what it is for me. But um, I, I, so I can't I can't say that guy over there is a Mormon. He believes exactly what I do because I don't know what his interpretation is. I know what mine is. I'm happy to share it. Uh, nobody's kicked me out of the church yet. Um, so hopefully, you know, I, I, I live my religion. I, um, I, I do all I can to not be a hypocrite. And um, so far it's worked for me. Um, I love my wife, I love my family. That's what's most important to me. That's one of the most fundamental things, uh, things about um, my religion. And um, so it, 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 it te teaches us these things, to be kind to one another. And anybody that doesn't that, in my opinion, isn't living their religion. So if, if somebody wants to, to oppress anyone else, in my opinion, they are not living their religion. They are not, they don't even have a, the slightest understanding of what Christ tried to teach us. So, and even Jesus Christ reached out to people of other faiths or people that weren't in lockstep with what we now see as being Christian. And when, you know, one of the commandments is to not take the Lord's name in vain. That's what I see as taking the Lord's name in vain. When you say, I am this, and it could be any faith, I'm Buddhist, and then you, you twist what Buddha taught, then you're not Buddhist. You're, you're, so every one of, every religion, when you declare yourself that religion, you better know what your religion is and, and not take it in vain. You know, know what you believe, and why do you believe that? Where did that come from? Did, is, this, is it something that was just blasted into you? Or is it something that you came about intellectually and opened your heart to it? Because it made sense intellectually. If it doesn't make sense intellectually, then don't open your heart to it because you're going to get hurt. Or you're going to get suckered into something that is going to hurt you in the end. So, um, I hope that explains my point of view.